Twitch, a platform for people to watch random strangers on the internet. And I have a goal to make the best Twitch chat game in only six months. Here's the thing. This game started off as a turn-based combat game. However, upon playing it, uh, it wasn't quite what I'd planned. It was boring. So I scrapped the idea and started doing some research. And you know what I found? A lack of dungeoning games for Twitch games. There is a game called Choice Chamber that's the closest that I could find, but I'm rubbish at 2D, so that's a no-go. So for a game based on dungeoning, we need a player. For this, I decided I'll prototype with the hyper casual character set. The dungeon will need an enemy. Introducing the target dummy. I kind of feel bad that I need to hurt him, but it's necessary for game progression, I promise. So I hooked up some pretty damage counters, a nice hit animation, and with that, he was ready to be defeated. Now, I do plan on having loot, so when an enemy dies, they'll drop a weapon or armor piece to swap with the current loadout. In games like Borderlands, you approach the weapon and it shows you the difference between it and your current weapon. But for Twitch chat, I need this to be handled differently. To handle combat, I have each weapon set up with their own stats, like attack damage, range, and what kind of hitbox they use. Now, these are all stored on a scriptable object for each weapon, so when the player picks up a weapon, it's got all the information in one place. I want to give Twitch chat the ability to decide for the player which equipment they will take, giving them the powers of a dungeon master. I found a gorgeous looking shader asset called Quibbly, which tries to make things resemble the old Studio Ghibli film aesthetics. I got it a while back and decided to give it a go. I used it to saw out my character and enemy models, giving a good look and feel to each entity. Now, I'm a massive gamer of the roguelike genre. I love games like The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Binding of Isaac, Enter the Gungeon. I figured now's a good time to try my hand at making actual dungeons. There are a few solutions on the store to handle creating dungeons that have the look and feel of what I'm after. So I settled on the asset named Dungeon, which happened to have the functionality I need to develop my dungeons. Once that was in the project, I went through the documentation and built my first basic dungeon, just walls to walls. It had many issues whilst trying to get correct, like the floors overlapping or doors being slightly misaligned, nothing that time won't fix. So after trying to build my rooms using Unity blocks, I kind of gave up and moved on to actually just making them instead in 3D model. I created template rooms to hold everything together, I made a corridor and I added them into the project. Now I had a character who can run through rooms generated procedurally. Like that, I had a basic dungeon structure, but it isn't quite what I'm after. I want a room to room experience, similar to the Binding of Isaac, but not as free roaming as Enter the Gungeon. That's a problem for future Jordan. I decided to work on some visuals for each room. I got the Cinti dungeon pack and started to plan a room out. I added some walls and some door frames, followed by floor tiles and eventually the doors. I'll likely going forwards try to build a similar structure to Isaac, as I want the audience to decide where they go based on locked rooms. If you have any ideas as to how you can incorporate Twitch into a game like a dungeoning game, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And this kind of wraps up this devlog. Start off a bit rocky and with the amount of changes I could see at least the better direction for it to go. And with that, I'd be really interested in knowing what you guys think. What would you like to see in a game like this? I have a lot of plans for figuring out how I want Twitch to work, but inevitably it'll take a lot of time and effort and testing to make sure that this actually works how it should do. And with that, bye bye